Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob Schwartz. Wanted to give you a super quick update on what's going on with Illustrator. Illustrator is a little bit more like manufacturing or building something than it is like drawing. This object right here, this is one that you need to know. Remember these panels are often kind of in collapsed mode like this? Is this guy right here, it looks like a snake kinda. It's getting shot. You can just go up here at the top. I'm gonna open up that section. When you get started with Illustrator, you need to think differently than you do about other drawing apps. Because when we think of drawing, we normally think of like dragging a paper on the page and it leaves a mark. And I'm gonna type a little bit more, right? Brand Buffet Elite Tutorials. Can I make this guy into a symbol? Oh wow, I think that I did. And these sort of simulate real life brushes and you can see all of these different options and you're going to get a preview of what the actual line will look like when you draw with it all right so fun ways to play uh, brushes are like i said kind of a whole study on their own all different kinds of brushes that you can make with photoshop you're always stuck with this resolution problem and this is why when you blow things up in photoshop they start to look terrible they look really jagged and fall apart but in Illustrator, the beauty of it is you can zoom in as close as you want or blow it up as much as you want, and it's always gonna look perfect. So keep that in mind. It's um, kind of an important distinction that may help if you're struggling a little bit at the beginning, and, and people often do, so don't worry about that. This is the beauty of vectors 